Hello everyone watching the Safety Third Podcast. Right now on our Patreon is available to you a video where we made, is it out of focus? That's okay. A video where we made all of these amazing chairs. If you wanna see the delightful story, it's actually unhinged. Um, go check out Patreon. Are we gonna post the public version of it or is it only private? Only Patreon? Are we doing a public one? No, this, it, the video is too good to ever post publicly. So thank you guys for your support. Head on over to the Safety Third Patreon link below and support us. And uh, there's a new video out right now on Patreon. Thank you. Enjoy the podcast. Oh, there's a lot of bugs in here. Well, it, it's a dumpster. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right after that, uh, I saw an earwig on the floor with the oh, baby dude, was in here. There are so many. <laughs> I have never seen the pincher bugs. Yeah. There's literally hundreds of them. Oh, Silverfish yeah. are tiny, like, little, like. Oh, yeah. Little yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah the dude. ones with the pincer bugs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nah. I don't think that's no, an that's, urban legend. Yeah, that's they, urban. They, they go are, into your urethra. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how, that's where babies come from. <laughs> they, they are really good for your plants, so we're always happy to Do have they? them around. Yeah, because oh. they're eating the lice. The, yeah, the, I'm sure they're great, but when they're like when there's like 400 of them on a wall, <laughs> I, I've I've seen your like dried out tomatoes on the outside. Yeah. So. What is the? Do they use the butt pincers? Like, what are the butt pincers actually for? Mating. Because <laughs> I they kind of look like jaws, but there's a couple bugs I remember from my childhood. I'm just like closing my eyes and remember like <laughs> one of them is. The earwigs, like the pincher yeah. bugs. Yeah, like yeah. You like pick them up as a kid. You know, kids and kids have a weird relationship with bugs, I think, you know, because it's yeah. kind of like you're scared of them, but then it's like becomes a power thing. You have power over other kids by being able to pick up these bugs. And right. like, eh. so you'd like, you could like grab them by the pinchers because if you grab the earwig, I'm probably telling a story that's making me look insane right now because this might not be a relatable experience. If you grab them by their like their kind of head or torso, uh -huh. they would bend their pinchers at you and they right. could like, not that it hurts or anything, but it's scary. Trying right? to they would pinch try to you with the pinchers. But if you grab them by the pinchers, they can't do anything. Huh. The other one is these those clicking bugs. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the ones that can like jump up upright. Yeah. So if you if you like get find one of these little, they look like little tiny beetles with like kind of like a back shell and a front shell, so kind of like two halves. Yeah. If you put your finger on them and kind of press down, they like it's almost like a pen clicking. Right, right, right. If you right. let go, they go like you know four hundred meters in the air. It's like a like a weird exoskeleton yeah. spring thing going on. I think they just explode their guts. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have do we have these big cockroaches around here? Oh uh, like yeah, cockroach, yeah. cockroach, cockroach, cockroach. Stuff. Yeah, uh, how so, big? Uh, I've seen some big ones in closer to Los Angeles, uh, and they that makes fly. Sense. That checks out. They <laughs> fly. What? Do you guys have flying cockroaches? No. I didn't know they could fly until I saw one. <laughs> fly in my it, mouth. It, <laughs> it blew my mind because. It was, it, it was, I swear to God, it was the size of like, you know, the, you imagine like on TV or movies, they use the Madagascar hissing cockroaches. It, it was yeah. like that big, like this big. <laughs> and I saw it crawling on the wall and it was like getting on the air conditioner unit. So I was like, I was like, all right, all right I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to catch this guy. I'm going to release it outside. I'm a good person. I've got a cup. I've got a, a piece of cardstock to slip under the cup. I'm going to do this. And so at, I started walking towards the cockroach. I had never seen this before. It's fucking like the back opened up and then two enormous wings started fluttering and it flew towards me <laughs> and I sure because I didn't know they could do that. Yeah, what kind of sound was he like, ah! Because <laughs> I didn't... What, like, I mean, look at any other animal. Like, if you're looking at, like, a, like a, a raccoon... And you're like, oh, look, it's a raccoon. And then it like sprouts wings and starts <laughs> flying at you. That's a surprise. I think of all the things a cockroach could have, wings are the one I wanted to have the least. It could be venomous, right. poisonous. But the flight, because the, it's because the, the problem is the flight gives it all sorts of access. And then it becomes like a, like you're the Titan in Attack on Titan. And it's the shitty little person yeah. with the 3D maneuver gear. <laughs> and it's like, it can still take you on at that size if it can fly. <laughs> you like, you think you're big and bad and tough. And then a cockroach takes off and your brain tells you that you're not, you're none of those things. Stefan, have you, do you have bugs in Germ Germany? Germ and Germ Germany. German. 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 I was thinking of the word Japan. Yeah. So it kind of fucked with <laughs> yeah. me a Japan. little bit. Yeah, German. Yeah, but I think ours are not, not as, not as big as yours we don't have Bugs any or... termites we yeah ha oh lucky yeah we don't have termites we don't have termites there's literally termites in this house 
most of our nice. houses are fortunately made out of concrete. Oh, this house will probably be made out of not a whole lot, maybe a little bit of concrete yeah. too. <laughs> so I don't know if you ever have had the experience of like, have you ever had to like, like, like you're, it's night, you want to go to bed, but then you see a bug somewhere in the corner of your eye and you get up to like smash it or catch it or whatever. And then it gets away from you. And then you, I don't know about you, but for me, I can't sleep. I have literally overturned a living room, like, like couches from one end to the other to get under the couches to check because I will not sleep if there's a loose bug. Every time you find a spider in your house, there's a thousand spiders you didn't find in your house. Yeah, but the one, the one in particular, it's like any other crime. Like, oh, because you get, you see one criminal and there's like, okay, but there's a thousand other ones. But the one that you see is the one yeah, that's important. True. Yeah. Did you get it? I did eventually. <laughs> you know how I, I, it was a cockroach. It was one of the big flying cockroaches. Uh, and so, um, dude, if you just open your mouth, you'll get it eventually. <laughs> I, I, I kind of like shifted all the furniture enough where I was able to kind of like peek at like, like, cause I, I just, it would scurry every time. Like I would move the, like the ottoman and it would scurry to the couch and I'd move the couch. It would move to something else. And so I eventually kind of like, was able to move all the furniture in such a way that I feng knew, shui, feng I shui. knew what corner, what furniture exactly was under. And then I took a bottle of 91% uh, rubbing oh, alcohol oh, no. and I just doused the entire floor underneath that furniture structure with it. And set it on fire. No, because the alcohol is enough to just kill them. Okay. They just die because I guess they, you know, they have holes in their exoskeleton. So this is, yeah, this, this is something that happens in my my family tree <laughs> <laughs> and so then i moved the last piece of furniture and there was the dead soaked cockroach and then i i, I don't i i might have actually said it now that i think about it, i think what i did with the body was i took it to the garage and put it on one of those shitty little harbor freight anvils and i think i lit the you put a bunch off. of food around it <laughs> waited a couple hours for the other cockroaches to come and then you burned their, <laughs> the their brethren i burned the whole house down but it was worth it <laughs> I, I i've been i that's Joke's been in my head this whole time, and I'm like, I can't say that. I can't say that. I can't say so, that. So yeah, you, you guys don't have those in Germany, huh? What is no, the scariest don't. creature in Germany? The scariest creature. It's really hard to say. We we started getting bears, and one of the bears recently killed a guy. How do you start getting bears? I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, the the thing is, all of our bears got killed. Well, then where did these bears come from? <laughs> Well, we thought we're Petco, we're good like bastards. like nature guy and and put them back into like uh, our mountains and okay. stuff like that and now they're starting killing like like sheep and even people again like hikers and stuff. Yeah, there there was I think just a couple of weeks ago a hiker or a no a jogger in uh well in Italy but kind of like okay. three four hours away from me being killed by a bear and two weeks ago a couple of sheep, which is. I don't know if that's happening, well, especially like with the hikers and joggers, yeah. if they're just not used to approaching a bear. See, what you have to do is you have to... Because put, they're not grizzlies. You put a big glass over the bear, you put a sheet of paper underneath, and that and way... You, you light it on fire. It you light, yeah, you light the bear on fire. Problem solved. <laughs> Douse it in isopropyl alcohol. You're going to need at least three bottles. <laughs> So you don't have any like, because here I would say, what's the, like the worst kind of bug here? Like a tarantula? Maybe? No, I, no? I, I have it. It's 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 not common, but it's um, what it's called a, I think it's called a house centipede. I think. Here? Yes. Yes, because this is, this is Southern California is far south enough where they can exist. Uh, I think, they shouldn't. But I they think do. they're called house centipedes, but they're, they're just nightmarish because they're designed almost exactly to just terrify people. Because they're, you know, A, they're centipedes or whatever kind has a bunch yeah. of legs. Are they the black ones? I think they're blackish red. They're huge, though. And they are designed specifically to be able to run very fast and jump. So the way they catch their prey is by running after, they're like the cheetahs of the bug world, and they'll pounce on top of their prey. And so its legs, you know how a centipede usually has like however many legs? Its legs have evolved so that... Each one is slightly longer than the previous one. Like a so dragster. That, so every 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 step it takes, all the legs can take a step and not collide with the leg in front of it. Okay. So they can they can have this bizarre run sequence where basically all the legs are going full throttle and none of them are banging into each other. <laughs> and so it can run super fast. And is this like a common occurrence they come in houses? I've, I've seen Why it. Why do they call them houses? Because they live in houses. Oh, shit. And, <laughs> 
I've only seen the, the, the dismembered corpse of one because I was living in a house and I heard my roommate shriek, just absolutely womanly murder shriek. And I ran to his room to see what the f- I, I thought like I thought that he was gonna die. Back. And so what I what I came to was him like in one corner of the room, and the other corner of the room was a shoe that looked like it had killed a small possum. <laughs> <laughs> but it was actually a house centipede. It was a house centipede. Legs were just everywhere, and it was it was it, <laughs> the long ones or the short ones. I mean, it was all kind of, but that's when we looked it You're up. saying that you could, well, with enough first, time, you could put first, them back in order. I didn't believe him at first. Yeah. I had to Google it. And then once we found him, he's like, that's exactly he was, what it was. You thought he was playing a prank? You like went to Petco and well, bought no, one? I just thought that like he had just killed, because like, like obviously it was like a oh. big bug, but I didn't, because he said, he said like. You thought it was like a Frankenstein, like a, like a bunch of creatures in a pile. But he, it was, he was describing it. He was like, it was fast and it had all these legs and like none of it was adding up to me. Like, yeah. I was like, that doesn't sound like a cockroach. Squirrel. Yeah. How and many so legs? They, it turned out, uh, I don't know, 100, 100, 100 legs. <laughs> it had to be at least yeah, a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when we looked it up and we found out that um, we're, we're at the, like, basically the minimum longitude or latitude. What, it's just, it's warm enough in Southern California where they can exist. They're also really big in Japan, apparently. A lot of house animals Ooh. in Japan. Are they venomous or are they just nasty? I think um, it, it, the worst part is that they are venomous, but they don't sting with their mouth. It's like... Uh, uh, they like sting with their legs. It's their front legs, I think. <laughs> oh, have the venom. Yeah, of course. It's got to be. So it can run very fast, jump, and then sting you with a bunch of very fast legs. Straight out of Pokemon. Yeah, it was bad. Uh, he didn't even know they could jump when he killed it. And I looked that up, and he was like, I'm glad I didn't know that. Like, immediately jumped <laughs> yeah. to like the murder solution that solved all of his problems. Yeah. So I don't know what's worse, though. The bear thing sounds pretty bad. I, yeah, well, so you've you have bears. nothing like that. <laughs> You have no bugs like that. I th I think we basically don't have really like what? venomous bugs where we are. Is this well, too cold? I think so. Well, we have mosquitoes. We have oh. like fire ants, but you also have not fire ants. But not really the nasty ones, I guess. Okay. Regular ants that we occasionally <laughs> light on fire. <laughs> Ninety-one percent isopropanol. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I think we're pretty well off off in that regard. Uh, Mostly I, mammals and birds and stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, what about snakes? W w one, one of the things I can I can still like really well remember was when we were moving in our new house. I don't know where it came from, but I think a couple of days later, um, I was just um, uh, my my my, trou my trouser was somewhere, and I I put it on. Oh no! And once I got in there, one of these really really Big, thick-legged spiders got out of oh. there in our in our bedroom, and I have no clue where it came from, how long it was already there, and if, what if there it was on your more. your butt, it was on your mm. butt, and then it fell off into the trousers. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but it, but, just, it, just a I, but I think I remember I, I still pushing it out of like the, uh, the, the leg like of the it. trouser, and oh, it was uh. so nasty. Because these are the things that we usually have, in, like in our basement, and okay. you know, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. But I guess in the end, they're it was just big. It it was big and like this big with mm. what? Oh, no way! But, but including the legs. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's still huge. That's yeah, it's like a fat, like a meaty one, because we have the daddy yeah. long legs. <laughs> kind of when you say it out loud. It <laughs> bad. Hey, daddy long legs. Let's have uh, black widows here. Yeah, like those are those are like more psychologically scary. I feel like a yeah, big right. meaty spider. I don't know why it just makes it feel yeah, like you take a bite out yeah. of you. Yeah, so there's like a fat, like a grape kind of body. Or like... No, the body is kind of small, but it has like really thick, Ugh. hairy legs. Okay, just Couldn't not be a one daddy of... long leg. No. How many people listening to this you think have arachnophobia and just crash their car? <laughs> <laughs> what is what's like the opposite of arachna? Arachnophilia. <laughs> If someone is yeah. really sexually spider. attracted to spiders, <laughs> I don't Ooh, want to know what those like listeners are doing right now. One of those YouTube videos. It's we put a arachnophilia in a room with someone with arachnophobia, and we have them fight to the death. What? I don't know. Then we just released a bunch of spiders. I don't know. <laughs> I just, I've got halfway through that idea. <laughs> we need to workshop it. Okay, this is our guest, uh, Stefan. <laughs> I don't even know when we started recording. Uh, we're at 14 minutes. Holy shit. Wow. So we actually started a long time ago. Uh, CNC Kitchen. 
Thanks for having me again. <laughs> it's in person this time. Yeah, in person. What do you think? What do you think what of my think? set? It's uh, a beautiful, nasty like the, dumpster. The new addition, this, the baby, the yeah. wet baby. <laughs> this is this. Well, I think it's almost dry. This is the stunt baby. Yeah. We have this baby sit in for the. the <laughs> oh, sorry. It, it wet your. It, yeah. It, okay. Wet, wet well, diaper. Baby has a wet butt. Kind of in a, in in a way with the hair, it reminds me of my my own daughter. So it's. <laughs> Curly you do hair. have really curly hair, so that yeah. doesn't make sense. I, I swear to God, I didn't intentionally find a photorealistic yeah. silicone baby that resembled your daughter. I didn't yeah. do this. I'm really sorry. Uh, in my chair? Oh, I've got a oh, pair yeah. of underwear. Want to talk about this? I don't even know if that footage exists. Will what? exist anywhere. Wait, I have a question. Where did that come from? Oh, so this is uh potentially from a safety third extra where we, uh, me and Kevin, backyard scientist. <laughs> tried to recreate torture devices that we saw at Ripley's Believe It or Not. And so his torture device was a new invention that was- Underwear a, without an elastic band? <laughs> no, even better than that. It was a super wedgie machine. And so what you're looking at is the elastic waistband from Cold no. Bullets underwear that Kevin's machine straight up ripped off of his body. This is the elastic waistband from Cold Bullets underwear that was ripped off his body by a wedgie machine that well, Kevin built. Is there blood on it? No, all the blood stayed on the bottom part. <laughs> <laughs> How did that not like rip him in half? I will was... say that it was whatever this brand is, Bonds. It was the absolute best ad. Best pair of weak underwear. <laughs> well, the, the, like... If, I don't, my, if my underwear can't rip me in half by being pulled up by the I band. don't know if the video is, if, if the footage is ever going to turn to an extra or like if it'll be available to the patrons Has that been whatever. edited yet? I get to finally see a video that I, I wasn't involved with. It, but it, like so what happened was this supported code bullets weight entirely so at one point he's hanging from a tree and this <laughs> elastic waistband has come off his underwear and is like around his armpits so was the machine in the up. tree or was it like a pulley in the tree i mean uh was he, the machine just a bunch of weights on the he, he tried to make it kevin tried to make it really fancy but it did end up just sort of being a pulley with a log on the other end <laughs> 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 yeah that somehow makes me want to watch it more <laughs> well because he 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 like he designed and welded together this like ratcheting what? spring loaded Wait, i'm sorry when way. did you guys have time to do this i mean it took like maybe two hours he he just had he had some metal and you know how kevin he, he didn't plan anything he just yeah. kind of did he he made a ratcheting mechanism with an angle grinder and just bar stuff so he angle okay. grinded like unidirectional teeth into this thing by hand um it didn't really work though so it ended up just kind of being a bloody <laughs> but it looked really cool <laughs> and then it, it then ripped this off of code bullets underwear we told them that we would buy him new underwear but then i don't think we ever actually did and now we have this and we we're thinking maybe we give this away to someone does sound good to you leave a comment down below <laughs> <laughs> and we can sell that i also want to uh, like the trip that we did to Florida, like we met up with Code Bullet. He's his identity is still secret, mm. but uh, his real name is Evan. Mm. But we started calling him Cody B because <laughs> it sounds like his channel, and he adopted it to the extent where, like, at Creator Clash, people actually thought his name was Cody. And I think he's just going with it. So that might actually just be his new like nickname <laughs> is Cody B. <laughs> It's like it's like what Nigel did with Nile Red, but on purpose. <laughs> Cody B is I that's mean, that, horrible. I think it's cool, but the problem it's is like Cardi B. No, Cody B because it's Cold Bullet, Cody B. But I, it's, it's me, Cardi B. People it's like start, Cardi especially B? like Kevin. Kevin basically just and and Reggie. Yeah, Reggie just they ran up. with it. It's just his name now. It's too late. But just always remember that his real name was Evan, but now he's going by Cody B. <laughs> because we renamed him. Do you have any nicknames? Hans. 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 What's Hans. the story behind Hans. that? I've got some nicknames. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. An American family was drunk and wasn't really. And that was like 13 years ago when I did an internship here in the U.S. I was invited, I think, at Memorial Day. And yeah. Wait, did you just say 30 years ago? 13 years 13. ago. 13. I was like... <laughs> I'm, not, uh, I'm not that old. It? I'm not that old. Are you, old. like, 50 years old? No. <laughs> if you were told anybody how old you are, they wouldn't even believe you if you said it. Yeah, I'm 35. You look good. 
I very genuinely would have guessed you were younger. Like if you would have told yeah. me like like twenty, Eric. if you would have told me twenty five, would have believed it. I'd be like, well, well, the 25? thing is, I'm thirty five. I look like twenty five, and yeah. sometimes I just feel like being fifty. Yeah, yeah. Mentally and physically, <laughs> how do you think I am? But I know that I think you're 34, 33 You look really good for 50. No? I'm 50. <laughs> 30. Do? Do you not even fucking remember 30, how old you are? You? I am 33, but that my birthday is in December, so you haven't had that birthday I think yet. I'm you're 31. 32. Wait. <laughs> no, it's wrong. Because I've fucking done this before. Will's giving me shit for this. If you look up his birthday, it's wrong in Google. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. The day's not right. So I wished him happy birthday on the wrong day, and that's how he knows. <laughs> what was it? No. Thir I'm, I, I, I want to go low and say 31. Oh, There's thank God. no way. So wait, he's going to turn 32 in the summer, and I'm going to be 33, and then I'm going to turn 34 in December. That, that's not, that doesn't make any fucking sense. God right. damn it. No, I believe you. I just hate it. Well, you know, it's just what it's like being over here young like me. Sucks to be old, doesn't I, it? Yeah, I, you know what, though? I think I've, I've been told that I'm aging well, so I'm, I think I'm okay. I, I, can... I think they just said you're aging. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're, you really are aging. <laughs> you know, every time I watch videos of us from, like, oh, years God. ago, I'm no, like, oh, no, we used to be no, so young no. and healthy. What happened? And it's like, yeah, it's like two years ago. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. I... And now you're starting to, like, grow gray hair and... You don't even like where I have gray? my first gray hairs. Where? Uh, there. Oh sure. Okay. There, yeah. It says the but you're, you're, He's it, like it, it sounds like you're <laughs> pretending to fit in. It's like, oh no, yeah, I totally it's it's here, you know. Yeah, my I totally have to see my gray hair. <laughs> <laughs> I've had I've had gray hair since uh I was like a little kid. I've always had okay. like a couple some salt in this yeah, pepper. You see, you yeah, yeah, there's a couple, but the thing is, it stands like, out more when your hair is that dark. It doesn't concern me because I remember being in like fucking grade school and having like yeah. a couple gray hairs. You get pretty numb to it when kids are making fun yeah. of you for that long. <laughs> <laughs> so when did you? Okay, so you're you're 35. When did you start making videos? I think at like 29 or something like that. That's I don't want to say 29. that's late, but like relatively, I think to the rest of us, that to me is like you went to school. Figured your shit out, got a job, and then got sick of the job <laughs> after like five well, to. Well, to be honest, I, 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 since I'm still working in my normal job, like two days a week. How do you do that? Yeah, I don't know how I really do that, but <laughs> the reason why I'm still doing it is because I still enjoy it. Okay, that makes sense. That that's a problem, and I kind of stay sane having a mm. job and working with like people if i'm just working on my, by myself oh, i'm just God, getting yeah. Yeah. like crazy yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so wait, um, hold on so that you started six years ago ish yeah 2017 six, 20 yeah 2017 yeah why is it that everyone i feel like all the youtubers who build stuff it was like kind of like the same cohort 2016, 2017 yeah yeah because yeah. i there was like colin first has been around for a long time yeah, yeah. he's og but his his like videos are kind of like there's not a whole lot of people that have like replicated that. Um, then there was Simone, but that was like 2016. That was like yeah. 2016, yeah. but she was kind of like, like I, I'm thinking in my head, like there's a couple of people, but she's like one of the main ones that kind of was where my stuff stemmed from. Huh. There were a few other people because it was like you know applied science was like Ben Kraz and I was like does very sciencey stuff, and I was like oh I should you know make sciencey stuff because like I have I started a blog. That I could like document projects, so right. I could get a job, and there was a couple other people doing stuff, and I was like, I should, I should sort of do stuff like that. And then there's like Peter, right? And you, yeah, and James the Hacksmith, James that was around them too. Um, Kevin is pretty OG. Yeah, I feel like he was a little bit before that that yeah. group, wasn't it? I think Nigel too was so kind of around. Why? That why did you start in 2017? What happened in 2017? Yeah. I say that he saw the same uh, comet fly overhead that all of us saw at the same time. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I don't know. I, I bought like a proper camera in 2016 and at some point I just thought, yeah, just give it a try. You didn't... There's got to be another reason. Actually... Like, did you... You must have watched YouTube, right? Yeah. I, I Well, this is one of the reasons why I did it in the first place because, I don't know, I've, I've been watching YouTube like forever. Uh-huh. I, I learned... 
I think my oldest video on like my private channel, they are now almost like 15 years old. That you oh, made? okay. So, well, th those are not, those were like silly videos and stuff Just like me, that. Me running around half, half <laughs> yeah, naked, half covered naked. in slime. <laughs> <laughs> um, what did you watch though? I think I, I, oh. I, I checked I checked a while ago. Yeah. I checked a while ago and I think I really started watching YouTube with RC content. So um mm. Peter Stiepel and uh -huh. flight uh, test, test? test flight test. Flight okay. test. Uh E V channel, uh E V blog. Okay. Oh yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Great yeah. Scott. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. So I don't. I think that that was at the time when I started uh, getting into electronics and stuff like that, which okay. then also led to me like trying, I don't know, building my own machines. Yeah. And starting YouTube and. Because uh, you did mechanical engineering. I'm. I did mechanical engineering. Yeah. All the electrical stuff is just sort of self-taught. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's for watching completely videos. Completely self-taught. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Does anyone actually do electrical engineering? I feel like it's all microprocessors and digital stuff, and maybe some <sighs> transistors. But even then, it's like. PWM. I I feel like it it has gotten I feel like it it started off like you could do more electrical engineering. Styropyro I think still does that. Yeah, that's I've a seen, high voltage you have to be I've doing. Seen, yeah, because Styropyro he has to kind of build his own power supplies a lot of the time and his You'll own kill your like, microprocessor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I think like I remember seeing a video from him pretty recent, like this year I think or last year where he put together his own, I think, like, flyback circuit, you know, like a 525, just, like, ramming something into a coil or whatever, and just me being like, holy shit, that's impressive. Like, mm, I just went on eBay and bought one. I'm like, yeah. I don't... <laughs> well, because I think he was, like, doing... He had to power some... I think it was, like, a big laser diode mm. in some way that was not doable Easier, off the shelf. Do, yeah. 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 So he ended up having to do it on his own, and I think that's probably the last time I remember, like... Like, you know, the the seeing someone draw out a circuit diagram in a video. I think that's probably the last time. But it, that was still pretty recent. Yeah. Not a whole lot. The, I I think the last time I tried it was making, like, um, a taser nerf dart. And I didn't have to. I wanted to just do it for fun because I hadn't ever made, like, a, like a high-voltage um, DC to DC thing. And so that charged the capacitor. I had a diagram in the video. It was on a whiteboard. I had an oscilloscope. I think that was the last time I ever did that. I have this idea I'm trying to do right now. I can't. It's like <clears throat> just a thing I do for fun because nobody wants to watch this. Mm -hmm. I have this old VHS camera, the one we used in the raccoon video. Yeah. And the way I'm powering it now is I've just cut a like a barrel plug and connected to a lipo. It takes like it's like nickel metal hydride or something. Yeah. And so it goes from like 10 to 14 volts or something. So you just get a 11 volt lipo in there. Mm -hmm. It's happy with it, um, but it doesn't like read it out. And lipos are a pain in the ass. I was like, oh, I could take my Canon batteries for my camera and stick them on there. But then you have to boost it up. Mm -hmm. So I like was gonna have a boost converter. But then the problem is, you know, then this this is where you start getting like the engineering brainworms. Like, what if the boost converter was remapped so that the battery voltage was being boosted up in variable so that the camera would recognize when mm. the Canon battery was low. And so then to do that, you have to have an analog circuit that like takes the gain, it like adjusts the gain of the boost converter mm -hmm. so that you can go from like eight <clears throat> to six volts and then it maps it up to like 14 to 10. And so that would be like a little bit of an analog circuit. So it's like, I was gonna use like a MOSFET and then I never did it because it looked hard and I kind of gave up. I had other <laughs> yeah. more important things to do. I just, I just saw a bug. I don't know if it was a cockroach or an earwig, but it crawled into the latch hole in the door frame. I've been waiting for it to come out so I could show Stefan. Oh, I see it. But it's an earwig. Is it? Wanna, yeah, when you grab see it? it. Yeah. Yeah. Here, why don't you grab it? So, Stefan, do you have earwigs in Germany? Yeah, I do. And we okay. actually. I, I oh wait and I didn't even mean that one. I meant the other one. <laughs> did you see another bug in a different place? <laughs> All right, Will's just gonna find an earwig. From yeah, outside. we are actually we are, we even have houses for our earwigs in the garden because they're eating all of our lies. Oh, okay. So you yeah. like Maybe actively? We we actively try to get them close to our house. Huh. I don't want to have them inside, but well, we're gonna bring this one inside, I guess, and then you can tell us if it's different from the German ones. Yeah, or if it's somehow more. We, e efficient and smaller will you put it in all right so yeah why don't you tell us is this anything like the german ones that you have or is this different 
Fuck, I hate that. Jesus. It's they, really going up your arm there. <laughs> they are bigger. They are These bigger. These ones are bigger? If you grab it by, yeah. its, by its butt, it can't really do anything. Yeah, but does its butt even... It can't really even bite that no, hard with its it butt. Do they it doesn't hurt. Try to if bite? you grab it by its torso, it'll like... It'll start like flexing around to try to grab you. God, it just, it's like a devil bug. Yeah, it's half its body is literally. Well, they pincers. don't sting. So. They're very intimidating. Now, next up, what do they taste like? Alan. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, where's the Corona, the Topo Chico bottle? If it was fried, oh, you'd. <laughs> Crash the Topo Chico. Do not lose that thing. <laughs> so like, it's gonna be able to crawl out. I if, should, I'm gonna. Go yeah, it's really sticking to the glass there surprisingly uh, well. I think the Topo Chico has some kind of film on the inside that it's I, sticking to. What do I do? Do I do I go outside and check it out? It can definitely get out of this bottle. I'll be right back. <laughs> you can just plug it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, leave us leave us a comment below if you um have nasty bugs. If at you home. have nasty bugs at home. And if, if you want us to rate them, then you can join the, the Safety Third uh, Patreon. Discord bug Discord. server. Discord, yeah. And then you can send us pictures of your nasty bugs. <laughs> and we can, we'll rate them you in an extra. You some nasty, nasty bugs. So like, we're going to see some horrible things if you actually send us that. Well, I think the key is like it has to be a picture that they take and not one they find on the internet. So I was like, I think we can rate your nasty bugs, but you have to take a picture of a bug. We're going to do a reverse image search, and we find that picture anywhere else, then you're canceled. Yeah, we're going to delete. We're going to delete your profile <laughs> and not take your money. <laughs> Is this like the, the end credits thing where if we make it up, we have to do it? Because I, yeah. I really like the nasty bugs just, picture rating thing. I sort of thing. just say things. Yeah, I mean, what's the worst? We don't fall through with half the stuff we say, so we might as well make promises. That's true. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should talk about... Um, you're coming to Open Sauce. Oh, yeah, Open and Sauce! Actually, uh, you, you had some interesting feedback. I, I asked Stefan. I said, so how? what do you think that this event is? Um, and what did you were at Rep Rap this past weekend? And what did they, what, what you asked a couple people? Yeah, so the thing is, I kind of, I think I understand now what open source is, but you've seen like a day of the kind of behind the scenes. Yeah, I this. saw a day of behind the scenes. So the thing is, I was at um, Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival last weekend and talked to a bunch of guys there. And even though many or most of them were also like in, in the maker scene. Half of them didn't even know that open source existed in the first place. Hmm. That's and, fine. <laughs> <laughs> and the other ones did not really know what they <laughs> can expect there. That's not fine. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the thing. So, uh, so um, just it wasn't really clear if it's just going to be like a VidCon where you can... Mel Mark Rober. Right, right. That's um, been the main pitch so far, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, the only thing of value. Yeah, and I think this is <laughs> this is one of the the I don't know, confusing things that it, I think it wasn't that or it isn't really that clear that if anyone has a really cool and interesting project, they can show it off there. And if you don't have a cool project, you can come to the event and take a look at them. Just uh, like a maker fair. This is this is the honest feedback that we need in our <laughs> lives. So okay, yeah, I I think that what I've what I've learned is that we're very bad at um, is it communicating or promoting things? Ooh. It's I think I think for me it's like it's hard to describe. It's like I have an idea in my head of what it is, uh -huh. but like how do you just how do you like tell people? Like imagine trying to describe somebody like a steak dinner, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like. You're gonna have this thing. It's kind of it's brown. It came from a cow. Oh, you mean like as if they were an alien? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Describe <laughs> to an alien a steak dinner. I feel like a little bit right now. It's like how do you? I tell you, until people have seen it, how do you like describe it and also make it sound enticing? I mean, God, if you have to start from zero, I don't even know. You have to kind of describe the building and the kind of why you're even in there and the concept of money and yeah. um and what a what a people are. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I mean, if this is an alien, I think you you the uh, there's a lot of ground to cover. <laughs> so, so forget open sauce. If you're trying to explain that to an alien, what would you even? 
Uh, okay, I so... I would say Ichigo. <laughs> well, all right. So about uh, two million years ago, there were a bunch of monkeys... And they, they had a typewriter. They had a typewriter. And slowly over the course of two million years. They were able to invent <laughs> Tesla coils that were big and loud. Right <laughs> and also um, other inventions that are wacky. <laughs> and now all the monkeys can come to open sauce to look at these doing, inventions. This is, this is the problem we do every time. And it's, it's, it's community because the other monkeys there won't make fun of you because you're weird and you like... Um, uh, uh, are we allowed to say the exhibits yet or no? Yeah, I think we can say... I think, I mean, speaking of typewriters, there's a typewriter there that'll print a picture of you in ASCII. It takes a picture and then the typewriter types it out physically. That's I think pretty awesome. If I had to come up with a way to describe it in like m as minimal as possible, I think you said something earlier that I liked. I, where did I read it? I wrote it down. <laughs> I just wrote it down. It's, this, but this sounds so I lame. I say gathering of like-minded like people. Gathering of like -minded <laughs> it's, it's a it magic the gathering it's of like-minded like people. Planeswalkers. Oh my god, I hate this. <laughs> so, for the, for Stefan's the, gonna fix it. Yeah, He's yeah. gonna fix it for us. Okay. It's a bit different, but the reason why I always enjoy going to these rep rep festivals, and I think why also others really enjoy going there and don't feel some, I don't know, many makers and I don't know, nerdy people do have a bit of social anxiety, are weird and stuff like that. I don't but, know what you're talking about. Yeah. We're normal. <laughs> I have so many but, girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. It's the same ones as Alan. <laughs> but if you're if you're at the event, everyone's weird and that's good. So you don't you don't feel yeah. weird anymore. Maybe okay. maybe okay. like I can describe it as like when I was a kid in I would say middle school, high school, right? So it's like middle school me. I don't know why, but I like I like Legos. I like building stuff, mm -hmm. and I didn't really have any resources. Like woodshop was one of my favorite classes. Probably one of the best classes I ever took in my entire mm -hmm. life. I think I took like two semesters, and I was like the TA of it. I think I was in woodshop for like half my time in middle school. Oh, that's awesome. And there's very few people that are into that stuff, and mm -hmm. even fewer people who are into the idea of like, oh, I'm gonna make an electric motor spin. And like for me. When I was in, I think, eighth grade, maybe eighth, seventh grade, I built this little, my science fair experiment for the year for the science fair was a little like A-frame popsicle stick thing with a motor glued to it. And mm. I was, it connected AA batteries up to it. And my experiment was which type of batteries last the longest. <laughs> and like me connecting batteries to a motor that had a little propeller on it mm. was like, I am God. Yeah. Yeah. And nobody, not a single other kid in my school was doing anything like that, no matter mm. how shitty putting a little motor on a popsicle stick building was. And then high school, it was the same thing. It's like, I'm just like this kid and I have no idea why I like to try to put things together. Mm -hmm. It's genetic, because I don't know, my mom's side of the family is engineers, my dad's side of the family is alcoholic. So it's like, you put that together, what do you get? Yeah. Um, YouTube. <laughs> a YouTuber. <laughs> and I just like to try to make things. And I would like, watch videos like Kip K and other did you have uh, first robotics at all? no we didn't yeah. have shit dude. I had my high school didn't have that dude, not a single teacher had any idea what I was doing and so there was this project I saw it resurface a while ago did you ever see that Wii controller project where it was taking a Wii connecting it to a computer via Bluetooth and then it had firmware it had like a, a driver that was then like had a couple of cool software demonstrations of like using a IR pen, an IR LED. Oh, to make like a smart Yeah, to make like the cursor or move or a smart, smart whiteboard or like yeah. a, uh, it was a like fake depth. What, what do you call that? Where you're like, you move around and you have the markers on your head, the IR light. Oh, so it can change like the perspective. The yeah, the parallax. Parallax. So you're looking at this, you're looking at a monitor. It's a trick that's used on like theme park rides. And when you move your head, it's changing the field of view or not. It's changing the perspective of the camera in the engine. And so it looks like you're looking into like a portal, like you're looking through a window. Kind right. Of. And that was using the Wii controllers and just IR LEDs. And so like, I like, you know, took our Wii, I took one of the controllers. I did this whole thing on the computer. I took a, a Sharpie or a highlighter and I like gutted it and put a little LED in the end and batteries and button on it. So you could press it and they, and I did this whole thing. It's like, nobody has any idea what I'm doing. I have no mm -hmm. idea what I'm doing. I just like to make stuff. And there's no other kid. There's no teacher. Mm -hmm. There's no faculty. Mm -hmm. There's no club or anything that I can go and like hang out and like, like talk with people about this stuff. Mm -hmm. Like actually really sad. 
yeah looking at it now and like all the stuff kids have now they shouldn't have any of that i didn't have it they shouldn't have it either <laughs> <laughs> and then but then 15 years later now yeah. you're just literally throwing like that event. yeah exactly i'm taking the the, the one of the absolute worst financial decisions <laughs> <laughs> uh people buy tickets won't yeah, you yeah. won't you guys you'll buy tickets it, right i don't know how to describe it other than it's everything that like 15 year old to 18 year old william always wanted and didn't have was just a community of people who wanted to make stuff and share it and show it off yeah if that sounds it's not even things at that point it's just an idea of of other people who like making crap that's a solid pitch it's a pretty good it's my sob story of how uh, yeah and, and that's also pitching the part i think that hasn't like been I don't know, promoted that much before. Yeah. Or, I don't know. Had, had, I think the has been like here. The, the <laughs> <laughs> Boys got to bring it back. Down. Yeah, the thing that, that makes like oh, should I not this, have this gathering <laughs> even cooler. I wasn't completely on board with that, but now that you've said it, uh, I feel a little kind of like I should be the, on board The bad with taste that. in my mouth is becoming slightly better. So, you, yeah, the orgy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> now you guys have to buy that URL before someone else does. Ian, why you? Why, Part of me. Why did you slump over just now? We need that's. I think that's an awesome URL to own. <laughs> cut, cut the bleep the URL does out. Exist. We can't afford any more URLs. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way that is already a thing. He's looking it up. I can see it uh, on I the derailed laptop. that. What were you saying? <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Just nine bucks for, for, a, month, for a, a year. A year. Yeah. No, the cool <laughs> thing is you have this gathering. $3.48. It's available. Wow. Well, you better buy it before this publishes. No, we, they don't even know what it is because it got bleeped. Someone's going to buy it. <laughs> and his mouth was blurred too, so he can't even lip read. Someone's gonna go buy every permutation they can, and it's still gonna be wrong. They're not gonna get it. Sorry, Stefan, what were you saying? <laughs> will not only be like the gathering of these like minded people mm -hmm. doing mentally ill people. Yeah. <laughs> mentally. <laughs> well, in a good way. In a good, in the best way possible. In a good way. Uh, that there's also gonna be like talks and panels yeah. of of creators. I think right. that's just the sauce on top. Yeah, I'm trying to think of like when I, I know that people like panels a lot. Like I, I've mm -hmm. never been to a lot of conventions mm -hmm. and, and whatnot, but I do think like I've watched a lot of them on YouTube, and it's fun to just be able to like interact with people that you've consumed their content in a way that's like different from the content itself. Yeah, yeah, like. You know, it's like being able to ask about how much RAM, how much WAM you need for your server. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've always been a big fan of like, um, like going to like, like Comic Con yeah, or Comic -Con like Wonder Con. A, I mean, a couple times, I mean, obviously once the pandemic was a thing, like I stopped doing that and I don't think, I haven't really tried to go back because mm -hmm. usually I would just try and like get on a panel and then you get free admission. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> well, because otherwise it can be really hard to get tickets for, yeah. for the San Diego Comic Con. Um, but it's like you get to like you get to see people that you're a fan of and it's not just like they're they're on stage, but they're like interacting, you know, with each other and with the audience. And it's just something where it's like you get to see like the the, the, the real because the real, it's like, you know, everyone polishes their video to some extent. Yeah. Right. Every, you're always in control of like what exactly is in your videos. But it's like, have you ever seen Mark Rober just talk? I bet no. nobody's seen that. I have. <laughs> but if he does a panel at Open Sauce, I would pay to make him stop talking. Yeah, well, I mean, it's like anything could happen. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like because it, it's it's not just him because it's like his name comes up a lot, but it's it's like over seventy freaking people from YouTube. Like the, there's the, the, these people have never been in one place together. Before. I'm just trying like my, my whole goal. <laughs> this is very selfish was to recreate showing up to VidCon for the first time. Uh -huh. But like the magic of walking in a room and seeing Vsauce Michael. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, I'm seeing this man. I'm like, Oh my God, this is a real human being. Like I, the instant I saw Vsauce Michael, 
I I felt like I'm like I do not belong in this room. <laughs> And I think that it was such a cool experience to be able mm-hmm. to hang out with like in this like kind of YouTube summer camp fashion. That's like, I selfishly am trying to recreate that for me to just be in the same area as essentially everyone who's making science and engineering videos mm-hmm. on YouTube and just, just like do, you know, the stuff that you would never film and post to the internet. Just, you know, doing dumb things, committing crimes. Committing crimes. <laughs> that. That's a that guarantee way now. more often than we should. <laughs> Actually, I think we've got some crimes here today. We can, we're going to go over in a bit. <laughs> Not a joke. <laughs> I I think that the like you know the only time that I have ever like felt because it's like it's like you you meet people that make YouTube videos and like a lot of times they're like I don't know famous or whatever the big and you like you've seen their stuff you respect them you're like oh it's cool one person exactly where like I, I met them and I just, my body freaked out. Right. And I was just calling first because <laughs> just, what do you, when you say your body freaked out, well, you mean, cause I just, um, me, yeah, I, 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 I shat my pants. I mean, I come my pants. Well, so I mean the, the, the first thing I said, because I just, it just <laughs> oh, no. nothing. It's just, everything stopped working. Nothing good comes after. <laughs> well, I, I said, I said, Colin, like you, you're the one who like started all of this. Like, why we all have channels? Because you're like, you're like, you're like our daddy. That's what I said. <laughs> daddy long legs. Daddy Colin Furs, and he ran with it. He was like, oh, I like hearing that. Uh, let, let's take a picture. <laughs> oh my boy, oh, mate, let's take a picture. I, I can't do He's that. He's like exactly. pressing the panic but so then button. He literally, he, no, but he literally he, he posted a picture of me and him on Instagram, and he literally said like, oh, this is Alan Pan. He says that I'm like. Uh, like his daddy. daddy. <laughs> so he just, so he just well, I mean, it. you're like my daddy, but you could be my daddy. <laughs> but it's like I think for something like this, I have, I have, I have, a, I have a guess. There's two people I think that might happen again to me, which is kind of scary to think about. I think it's uh, Electro Boom and Code Miko. I think, if, yeah. I think if I see them in person, which I guess, like you know, I will, but it, it, that that freaks me out a little bit. Seeing those two for whatever reason, I think. Have you seen the whole roster? No. Is okay. there? You've who, seen the Discord server? So yeah. Who do you Who roster. do you want to meet at Open Sauce? There's a good chance that whatever you say, yeah. they're gonna be there. It's really hard. No, no, no. Because, because nobody us. doesn't. No, <laughs> nobody. Well, uh, yeah. Emily, the engineer. Yeah, uh, for example, yeah. Reprints the Iron Man suits. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's um, any other three D printer people? There's three D printing nerd. Three D printing nerd, Joel. Yeah, I've yeah. seen it. I've seen him this weekend. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> get out of here! <laughs> who, is there? There's you can't come with one person who you're no. like most excited. So who are you well, least excited? To <laughs> <see>? <laughs> you guys. Who are you going to avoid the entire time out of all seventy? I think we're working well, our way pretty high on that list right now. No, I, I'm, for example, really excited to, to see, like, Joe Bernard. Okay. Uh, oh, is he going? Rocket is guy? He, is he going? Is the rocket man coming? Can, yeah. yeah? Wow. Okay, yeah. He hasn't, yeah. Filled, he hasn't, he hasn't <laughs> filled the form out yet, but as of now, yeah. Because I I, I we'll really like <laughs> his, like, engineering and just rocketry video. I, it's, it's, some of the things that he does is something I would like to do, but it's just not possible where i live and yeah yeah actually california is a great place to do this there's a lot of rocketry here because there's you go a little bit away from the flammable stuff and there's massive (laughs) massive open areas for basically (laughs) blowing things up so yeah i i i think this is kind of a similar thing that that you just said when you were first at vidcon i'm kind of still at the point where i think why why am I even here? How do I fit in here? You you know you're in a dumpster right now, right? Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think how, how did I get in we, a I dumpster like with you guys? I think we really ran with that yeah. feeling and just embraced it. <laughs> <laughs> Our set is literally trash. Yeah, I don't think people really truly understand that this is actual garbage with actual bugs running in and out of it. It's a taxidermy squirrel <laughs> on top of the sign that you you can't see right now because the camera's. Too we low. have a photorealistic silicone baby that has a wet nappy <laughs> soaked through. Because we sprayed it down with a hose earlier for a bit. Why didn't you change its diapers? Uh, it's permanently attached. Dude. Yeah, I well, okay. You want if you want the real, real, like the one hundred honesty. Um, 
that is that is an anatomically correct mm. silicone baby. I don't want to take the nappies off. <laughs> That's I there's I don't know. Feels like a correct. It's yeah. Feels like a, uh, whatever the same thing that happens if you open like King Tut's tomb is gonna happen yeah. if you take off that baby's nappies. <laughs> I think I figured out why Barbie doesn't put genitalia on their dolls. It's just... They don't want somebody to think that someone made a decision. <laughs> somebody had to sculpt this baby, and I, all I, I just want to leave the nappies on. They're wet, but they're going to dry out, and I, I'm so sorry that it looks like your daughter. <laughs> Uh, so, so Stefan. <laughs> yeah, BPS space is pretty cool. Makes the good the rockets. I think I am, if I had to pick one person, you know the person I thought was least likely to come, it was the same person that we said last time, is Technology Connections. Oh, he's Ooh. coming? He's coming. Ooh, oh, that's going to be cool. That's yeah. going to be cool. I, 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 there's some people that I just get a vibe, kind of like, just do their thing and don't want to get super involved with things mm -hmm. and i kind of i just i just you know whatever screw it i got into the point in my life where i just asked people like hey do you want to come to this thing and he said yes and i was like <laughs> <laughs> that's really cool um cody's coming too oh I'm cody's excited. lab oh, not yes. cody b cody's not lab. cody b cody b will be there cody's, cody b the two cody's will be there i guarantee you i only met cody once at vidcon for like 60 seconds at the most that we were like mm -hmm. i was running we were doing a panel and i was just like oh, cody's lab and then i'm like i gotta go <laughs> <laughs> um and so i think that i really haven't had any like opportunity to meet cody at all or hang out with mm -hmm. him and that's probably something over the years that we've gotten the most requests of like do a video with cody or you know have cody on the podcast and whatnot are we gonna do podcasts at open sauce that's fucking crazy Oh really? We're gonna do main stage podcasts yep. at Open Sauce? Okay. You know if we right now it's the only thing on the schedule. I Are we filming it or just doing it? Filming. Oh, we're filming it too. You, okay. You realize shit. there's an opportunity here to film one episode with each of the seventy creators and be set for like two years. And it would only take <laughs> seventy hours. And we'd only be talking about the same things <laughs> over and over again for two years straight. <laughs> Could you imagine? Like, what did you think about the the, the giant musical <laughs> Tesla coil? And it's like two years. There are it's, everyone's literally already died. <laughs> yeah, but like it would be done. You wouldn't have to worry about it ever you again. Worry about anything. <laughs> Or I guess you just you do one episode, but with all seventy people that are gonna be there. How how many mics do do we have? Can we give a mic to seventy people? Uh, Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Well, if everybody shares, a, a, if it's six people to a mic, I guess that works. I think we could. That's not unreasonable. <laughs> the world's biggest podcast. <laughs> my, Everyone I, would get to speak for about a minute. <laughs> Imagine everyone goes for one minute and your podcast is done in a minute and you just have to sit there for the other minute. <laughs> 59 minutes. So, okay, I guess we, I, I want to go over the, uh, the box of stuff you've got. So I think that if you want to come to open sauce, if you want to exhibit open sauce, go to the website. Um, if you've got something cool you built in your garage, your room, your shitty workshop, that's where I used to build stuff in my room. Um, submit. An application we're just looking for cool things if you've built something really big that's we still epic. need a giant among us inflatable right yeah there was one app i don't know which person submitted it but they said they were going to fill it full of a gas and so <laughs> we we that one just sort of the terminology just worried me because i don't feel like somebody who would actually know how to do this would describe what they're going to put in it as a gas unless they were actually thinking about putting a gas in there <laughs> first of all what is a hydrogen gas? <laughs> Oh, uh, I was thinking hydrogen and oxygen. <laughs> In a two to one ratio. Just so but, it really inflates. That's just a game theory. <laughs> Did you also say that they're going to get readmission? 
Oh yeah, if you're if you're exhibiting, you get free admission for you and whoever you need to run your booth within reason. You're gonna if it's if it's, <laughs> if it's more than a handful, you're gonna have to explain to us why you need more. But you do get free admission, and uh, you get to show your stuff off to a bunch of people who are interested in the same thing, and a bunch of YouTubers. So Friday, yeah, night. it's a very I, good. I, I I think this is one of the most interesting things about it. You get to Just, show your things to other YouTube yeah. YouTubers. I mean, yeah, if, if, because if the, I think if, this is one of the like easiest and and cheapest ways yeah. to get actually like a zoo, like a YouTuber zoo. zoo. A yeah. YouTuber zoo. I yeah. mean, if if their application is approved, it yeah. essentially means that we thought it was a cool idea, and so that we, means that we're yeah. probably gonna be around to look at it. We've literally spent, I think, I spent like four or five hours going through the applications, just kind of preliminarily looking at them, trying to understand what it was. And then we spent three hours the other day and then we spent another hour today. You got to see some of them. I think that was, it was interesting watching you go through it because I think I got to realize a lot of what we're doing a bad job communicating. <laughs> it was interesting to see what, what you guys found interesting and what not. Really? But what did you, I, you found, what was the one you found? You found something interesting that I was surprised by too. What was it? Do you remember what it was, Ian? I can't remember anymore. I'm just, I'm really excited for the the one guy who said he'd bring a Super Smash Brothers table. Yeah. <laughs> just like, just <laughs> a we, table with a CRT and Super Smash Brothers. I was like, accepted. Yeah. I might, I voted for that to get it. Have we, have we talked to the, those people yet? Or we're working on it? Yeah. So Super Smash Bros, the guy who wanted to bring a GameCube, uh, you've been approved. Yeah. Just, and a lot of people have been approved, but I want you to know that you've been approved and you're going to get an email. Also soon. know that because that one was approved, don't don't try to apply with bringing in another console, another game. We, we already <laughs> have some. We're not going to accept more than that. Watch. It'd be the most popular booth and we're going to say, <laughs> shit, we should have brought in like 10 more. You know it. There's going to be a, like a crowd of people playing Smash. I am going to go to that, I'm to gonna that play exhibit. Smash. Yeah. I... Daddy Longleg's going to smash. <laughs> What the? Actually, how incredible would it be if, like, like if we could get like four YouTubers to sit down and all play Smash Brothers, like four maker YouTubers? Yeah, I think that'd be fun. That would be cool, especially if it was melee, dude. I would Who, go Captain Michael, Falcon. Michael's really good. Michael Reeves. Michael Reeves is really. At which one though? Uh, Switch. Okay. I yeah, maybe he's ultimate. Good. Oh, that's pretty good. No. Um, I'm mediocre. I'm I'm. The, the problem is the range is so wide. I would not consider myself good, but I think usually that's enough at like a casual party to do pretty well. Mm -hmm. But not like if when everyone else has been drinking. Yeah, not if there's if there's anyone there that like pretty much knows what they're doing, then I, I can't really do a lot. How do you smash? <laughs> really good bad, or bad because I was usually drunk when we did that. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm a Mario Kart guy. Okay, you drive better drunk than you smash yeah, drunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just came up with that one <laughs> on the spot. <laughs> you want to show us what's in your crime box? Oh yeah, what what is what was so, this? You you were trying to show us earlier, and then we told you not here, to. So we can do it on I, the podcast. I, I, I basically know what it is already because you told me what it was, and I immediately knew what it was. So, so do a slow so, reveal. Yeah, okay. I have what, no what, idea what, what this is. What is illegal about it? Is it like actually illegal, or is it kind of like oblivious? I think it's actually illegal, but it, and like, it's and it's it's an amazing thing that somebody just dropped that off at the door right here today. Wait, so someone was it a crime to leave it, or the thing itself is a crime? Like it's a pipe bomb. The, or the, something. <laughs> the I is think, a pipe are pipe bombs illegal? Or I actually in the U.S. Mm. Uh, I don't think so. You guys, <laughs> is, I don't know. It's actually I feel like there might be some kind of weird rules where it's like it's the possession of the pipe bomb that's illegal but not the pipe bomb itself <laughs> <laughs> i feel like it might be a destructive device oh, like the kind like of catch all possession of a destructive right device. without the license what if you make it with the intent of releasing it into the wild <laughs> <laughs> anyways that's just a thought okay okay it, it was not really amazing bomb. to see that just some random person somehow dropped off some illegal right, german wait, candy here at the door. Right. illegal german candy yeah, yeah open your right. Okay, my eyes, this, are, my eyes are closed. What? It Hers says closed? it's a Kinder yeah, Uberashung. Uberashung. Uh, yeah, I actually am so excited right now. <laughs> this is a real Kinder egg. What do you mean by real? Kinder surprise. You know what this is, right? No. They used to have these here, but they're illegal now. 
Why? They, these are illegal in America because they are meant for kids and they have small parts. It's got a toy. So it's chocolate on the on the outside mm. and a capsule on the inside. And so they can't do this in the U.S.? And no. So you can't. So the ones in the U.S. are like, uh, they're not the same. It's not the same. They're like, we. oh, man, we should get one. Um, they're like a little, they're like a plastic shell. And on the inside is like some kind of like chocolate, scoopable chocolate. One half of the egg is candy and the other half of the shell is um, a toy. Yeah. And so surrounding the toy with chocolate is the problem. Surrounding any, I, I think I read it up a couple of days ago, surrounding every something that it has a non-nutritional val value. And that's is, illegal. Is illegal. She really, this yeah. is Right. This is probably one of the best things you could have So, here. but this is okay. So, I w I think for food things, mostly Europe seems to have it right. <laughs> Good but thing this, we're in the dumpster. This one is wrong. The fact that the the, the small toy in the chocolate egg really seems like a bad a idea. A governmental over yeah. overreach. Okay, so it's like it's like two pieces of egg that have been kind of well, or pieces of chocolate shaped as eggs that have been welded together. So you kind of can like separate them pretty easily. Looks like a coconut almost, like the inside's got white chocolate, outside's regular chocolate. Wait, I'm gonna take a picture of this. That's good. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy that some random person just dropped that off today at the door. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait, hold on. Also, someone, you don't know who left these for you? I don't know who left that for me. Why are we eating these right now? Um, because we have to. Because they're worth it. <laughs> it's worth the risk. Alan. Because. because we have to destroy them because otherwise it would be a risk for any of the children. Just look at your baby back there. Yeah. What the would police happen? are very trigger happy here. We have to get rid of the crime, the evidence. <laughs> we have to do the crime. I don't really know. Okay. So the little plastic container, you like squeeze it, it pops open, and on the inside are a bunch of little pieces or a toy. Okay, but there is a plastic piece. So like if I put this whole thing in my mouth, I'm not going to choke it. No. I meant yes. <laughs> how many? How many little kids? Holy shit! How many little kids? <laughs> oh god! How many little kids can fit something that? You know what? I don't want to. Nope. Nope. Not. I tried really hard to choke on that just now. And <laughs> I kind of naturally spit it out. Okay, I'm putting my dinosaur together. Oh, it looks like it's like head bobbles or something. So the the cool thing for us being small was that, and this was actually the slogan of I don't know if it's even uh, if it's still the case. Every seventh egg had a hand painted like a figurine. Hen hentai anime girl. <laughs> <laughs> hentai figurine in it. Wow. And we I were collecting that, that when we were small. Uh, uh, did you? No, you didn't. You're like a, nah. I'm like a little dinosaur. Yeah. What is so what does it look like? What is the hand painted figurine? God, yours is oh in I snuggling. got a car! Yeah. Oh, I spit all over the microphone when I said that. It's okay. That's what Patreon's for. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's already crashed. Okay, These I got... These little pieces are nice and mouth size. I think that's like... Well, the toy itself isn't the problem. It's the fact that the toy is in the chocolate. I think that they get mad. So there are... I, I think there have been like over 10 cases in, in Europe where children have died from like... Eating, eating the these toy. things but and the, suffocating. But it's, it's not the it's not the whole candy. It's the toy in the candy. It is the co yeah the toy that's in the candy. So the fact that the toy is in the candy has nothing to do with why they're choking on it. Yeah, no. So it's just the toy is too small for those kids. Maybe yeah. Do you know there's like hundreds of cases every day of people getting ripped in half by cars <laughs> <laughs> or getting shot? But cars make the economy a lot of money, so they let them do it. Yeah. Hey, where's the instructions? I actually for this? need the instructions for this one. It's quite complicated. Oh, this it's got like a little plastic piece that you put under paper and you shade it with a pencil and it creates like a little triceratops skeleton drawing. You might even have stickers. I have a spaceship. Oh what? Like it's got a little warning for babies. It's is there an English warning? Well, mine's some Attention. kind of a rubber band powered this Spring loaded type the small of parts of the toy can be swallowed or inhaled. Is that like instructions, like things I'm allowed to do with it? <laughs> it can be. <laughs> what else is in the box? Is there anything else you want to show off? Ah, uh, yeah. 3D printed chocolate. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, I 
Have you guys ever eaten 3D printed chocolate in no, some fa not. Fa fancy restaurant or something mm. like that? Oh! Yeah. Hell yeah! That's awesome. Good thing that the baby isn't here anymore. I know. I'm putting it in the cup. Okay. Holder. What's the 3D printed chocolate? 3D printed Is chocolate. Is it also an egg? <laughs> it's not an egg. Uh, so I have been at the Repra Festival last weekend. Mm -hmm. And a uh, Ellie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ellie, uh, who runs Coca Press. Yeah. She mm. just released a. It's gonna be. I think it's not gonna be open source, but she just released a really, really nice chocolate 3D printer, and that thing is able to print some really nice stuff. I have a chocolate 3D banshee. Whoa. Really? Yeah. That's but awesome. I, I couldn't bring that, but um, I got some infill right here. Who wants rectally? You you did good. Oh, Rec did you say rectally? You, give, me, give me a rec. Give me a rectal. <laughs> you did good rectilinear. Give me a rectilinear. <laughs> Oh, uh, wow. Do you want to have some, some gyroid yes, infill please. to eat? Yes, please. And I have some, some triangular Whoa. infill right Wait here. Wait a second. This looks really. This is, looks like, like PLA or something. It, it, this stuff prints so amazing. That's or the really printer nice. of her prints so amazing. And she's just starting to sell it, and she. She did just an amazing job Wait, how with does, this machine. How does the does it use chocolate filament? How does it work? It has it's it's basically a syringe what? kind of thing built uh, out of stainless steel that is. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, is it good really, or bad? Really it's good. It's like, oh, I'm gonna try it. It's it's <laughs> it's weird how like kind of light and crumbly it is. Yeah. It's kind of a cool texture experience. Mm. Dude, this is a hundred percent like molecular gastronomy. Yeah. That's really nice. I have it's really, really nice. So the chocolate is basically in um in a stainless steel syringe. It's heated up and it has to be heated up to like a tenth of a degree precision because like the viscosity of the chocolate changes very, very quickly. Mm. And then um, it's basically just pushed out of the nozzle, and you can basically print with it just like with a regular 3D printer. That is in a slice and slicer, or just like Prusa slicer, just just a regular Any slicer. Any special settings or anything? Is there, is there a profile? N no, I think not really. Uh, the only thing that she said is that well, you gotta do like temperature settings and stuff like that directly at the machine because you need to have like a preheating cycle that the whole syringe, like has has an even temperature so it okay. takes like 15 20 minutes until like we can uh, to warm up and to get to like a constant temperature and the the models that we she was able to print are so amazing you it's, know what i was thinking like you could and it's just just not the printer that uh she engineered um one of the big things that she did is engineered a chocolate or mm. like a, a milk chocolate and a dark chocolate that to be work. properly printable yeah I wonder that is really good. If you could like fill it with something, so you could have like the the chocolate kind of tendrils of yeah. the infill, and then you like fill the entire you know like cavity with yeah. like something that wouldn't melt the chocolate. Yeah. That would then solidify. Yeah. And have like a weird composite like chocolate dessert. Yeah. I really want to have one of these machines. That's cool. Yeah. We should. I would. I would. I think uh, she's on the list of people to <clears throat> to try to bring over. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just, <laughs> so many people. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Well, that's it. If anyone has anything that they would like to exhibit at Open Sauce, anything food related, any big exhibits, anything just weird you built in your your garage or workshop that you want to show off, um, submit it to Open Sauce dot Live. We own that domain, so we can say that one. If if they didn't censor it, then you can also send your submissions to the other one that we mentioned because well it'll have to they'll you guys will have to buy it and reroute it to the Chicken actual sauce. one. <laughs> Go check out CNC Kitchen. Look at this episode; we didn't have any flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> where is he, by the way? I don't where, know. Where is Heimlich? <laughs> I thought I thought it would be like mounted up by where the squirrel is, but I, I think so it disappeared. It's Maybe in the trash fell? piles. <laughs> Well, that's sad. Anything you want to promote? I don't know. It's fine. That's kind of how I do it. <laughs>
Tom Scott tried yeah. to get me to promote something on the lateral podcast, and I just kept saying turtle. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like he wanted to kill me. <laughs> I was like, what? Turtles are cool. They're pretty cool. I tried to feed some cat food the other yeah. day. They didn't like it. I, yeah. Where did you find a turtle? Uh, I was in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys next time. <laughs>